Hi Capricorn, Mary here. I have your reading for November 15th through the 30th. And I already shuffled the cards and I didn't realize that my mic wasn't plugged in. So I'm starting the reading over, I apologize. But I have the three cards up for you. <laughs> um, I just wanna say thank you for your likes, your subscribes and your shares, I appreciate it. Um, the first card that came up for you Capricorn is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is all about um, being up at night, um, worried, um, contemplating something or worrying about something. The sword energy is, is um, it's your intellect. It's what's going on in your head. So you're up in your head about something. Something's really bothering you, worrying you. Now you have the King of Swords as well. You've got all swords. King of Swords, Knight of Swords. So um, I feel like um, you're, you're an intellectual person. You, um, you use your head more than your heart. You are logical. You, um, you have a lot of wisdom to share with the world. Um, but for some reason, you're really worried about something. But I feel like you're going to get clarity on the situation because this is the Knight of Swords who comes in with an idea or a truth or a clarity um, intellectually. So whatever you're worrying about, I feel like you're going to get clarity on the situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from Colette Baron reeds Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, this is for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn. And we have regeneration. So this reminds me of like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, so I feel like whatever clarity is coming in for you towards the end of the month, it's going to, um, you're going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes out of this um, all that worry and stuff, there's going to be new growth. There's a new start for you, a new beginning. It's number 46. Now four means that you have a solid foundation. And six means that you like peace and harmony. When you add them together, you get the number 10 and that's all about new beginnings. So I feel like whatever you're worried about right now, whatever you're up in your head about, you are going to get clarity towards the end of the month and then there's going to be a rebirth for you. Um, I'm going to pull a card from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers, the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, November. We have study and learning. So it could be that you're going back to school. Um, maybe you've been up in your head about um, wanting to start a new career, or do something differently. Maybe you're a teacher. Um, I feel like Capricorns make really good teachers. You're down to earth, um, but you're very intellectual and wise. Um, it could be that. Um, yeah, it could be that you're studying or going back to school or doing something like that. Remember, these are general readings, so they're not gonna resonate with everyone. But I feel like whatever you're studying or you're going back to school for, or you're taking courses for, is going to give you that new start, that new uh, rebirth. And from Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, we have the Winged Wise Ones, Angelic Help, and Miraculous Aid. So you are being helped, you're being guided from the other side. The universe is helping you in this new endeavor, this new rebirth. Um, it's number 34. Three means you're expanding on a soul level. Four, again, you have that solid foundation. And when you add those two up, you get the number seven, which means that you are on the right path. So hang in there. <laughs> you're on the right path. And I really feel like you have nothing to worry about. You're going to get some clarity on the situation. Okay. This is Kyle Gray's new deck. It's called Angels and Ancestors. And after working with it for a little bit, it does shuffle easier. I'm liking it a little bit more. 
and the artwork is spectacular. This is Animal Guardian. Trust your intuit. Trust your instincts. Okay. This card so beautiful. Look at that owl. Trust your instincts. You're the wise one. You know what you're doing, um, and you have a lot to offer the world. I feel like you'd make a really good teacher, um, but this is just saying to follow your instincts. Um, you're being divinely guided. I feel like um, whatever this new idea is, um, it's going to be a, a nice rebirth for you. Okay. Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. We have El Moria, Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So. The universe is definitely with you. You're getting help from the other side, angelic help, help from the universe, your higher self, your guides. Um, go with your gut instinct, that animal instinct. Um, it's going to lead you. You're going to get some new clarity, a new um, spark of an idea. Something's going to come in, and that's going to offer you a new life, a rebirth for you. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that you like this reading. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment below if you resonate. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.